Jeff Chalmers here from discoverdoublebass.com. If you want to learn more about the double bass, if you are new to it, if you're an experienced player, whatever, please go and check out our website because we've got a range of lessons and courses to help you find your own voice and move along on your journey as a double bass player. Now today I'm joined by one of our faculty, the fantastic Olivier Babas. So Olivier, thanks for joining me. Hi Joe, thanks. Well, I was hoping that you could talk to us today about this keyboard that you have with, uh, with you. And really, you've been using this as we've been filming a course about improvisation. And I love the sound of it. And I love the way that you're playing it at the same time as you're playing the double bass. So maybe you could talk to us about your approach to using the keyboard when you're playing the double bass and how it informs your practice time and your compositions. And yeah, maybe talk a little bit about that. Oh, OK. Uh... Well, the keyboard is a kind of an extension of uh, the kalimba playing uh, I've been doing for uh, many years. Uh, the keyboard is just a more uh, practical and simple approach to it. And uh, I see that I, I use it because uh, it's a great uh, addition to the bass. I'm not talking really about playing piano in this at the same time and playing bass, but mm. just adding, being able to add a few notes here and there. To me, I vision it at, like our our har harmonics that we have. I see that as a harmonic, but I can have access to any note. So, of course, I, I work on my piano skills at home, detached from the bass. I, I, I really work on the piano because it's the best uh, approach to harmony to me. Uh, I mean, the, the widest. But uh, with the bass, I, I, I have some very simple exercises, which are uh, just the bass being the left hand and the piano being the right hand, just playing simple intervals, uh, harmonic intervals, for instance, uh, uh, if I want to uh, get used to catching my, sev my major seventh very quickly, I will maybe uh, go up uh, by tone and play every major seven. So. can do that with uh, the maybe the ninth it's uh, it would sound great as well do, do you practice with drones because it feels like an extension of that to yes me. absolutely so it's uh, <clears throat> the drone thing is uh, more uh, this is more uh, uh, keyboard focus thing so when when i'm really thinking about what i'm i'm playing on the keyboard here but the drone approach is the other way around which uh, uh, in this case i will just uh, let a note or a few notes ring and from there i will practice really my I will really practice my pitch. I don't have my bow here, but it's... Really taking time to hear the intervals. And then back to... A really enjoyable thing to listen to. Uh, it's been one of the highlights of the week, actually. And I think on that note, what we'll do is we'll finish this video by cutting to a performance of you playing, which we filmed earlier. Uh, and I came in this morning and Olivier was performing this, and I absolutely loved to hear it. And I thought maybe we could put it at the end of this video. Sure. So people can kind of hear where you can take this in a more, this is the extreme end when you've worked on it loads. But I think it's a lovely addition to your practice and perhaps a little bit more fun than just playing with a drone. Yes, absolutely, yes. Excellent, so we'll cut to that video now. I hope you enjoy his performance and thank you so much for watching at home. 